The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I am with Ilmore's Jessica Gamara talking about a new system that they have that we need you to know about. Jessica, what can you tell me about it? Well, basically what you're looking at is the all-new Ilmore OneDrive system. The OneDrive is um, it's a two-part system. We're looking at an MV8 engine. This is a 6.2 liter, 430 horsepower engine. We also offer it with 380. This is a catalyzed V8 engine that we've had in market now for about five years, but this has been modified for a stern drive application. But the, the center focus, the major difference here is the Ilmore One Drive. Now this is a game changer of a drive. What we're looking at, instead of your traditional cone clutch systems, is a hydraulic clutch pack that's electromagnetically actuated for smooth and silent shift. So responsive it shifts two times per second without any of the clutter, clang, clunk, or vibration that a lot of the traditional uh, cone clutch systems and drives have seen on, uh, on boat installations before. And the main, the main uh, manifestation of that would be in a twin engine drive where we have our one touch joystick and you can have the two drives interacting, vectoring, getting the boat exactly how you want it done without any of the noise and clunk that a lot of the other systems have historically done. But what's really amazing here is the whole package. We have the opportunity to work with Formula on a 350 CBR FX which is out on the docks right now for demonstration and the feedback on the boat has been fantastic. So our hope is that the one drive, the one touch joystick system paired with our 6.2 liter V8 engine in here is really going to elevate the boating experience for people, kind of take it to a new level, a level of refinement that you've come to expect out of your vehicle. Now you can expect that out of your boat as well. So uh, we're very proud to have this here and hopefully Steve will have a fantastic test out on the boat and, uh, and we'll be able to show him everything we're talking about right now. All right, well Jessica, let's get out on the water and see if we can validate those points. Okay. We tested the OneDrive system in a Formula Boats 350 CBR, and this is the upscale FX version, a perfect platform for what should be a smooth operation system. First, the numbers. The Formula 350 CBR, or crossover bow rider, has a length overall of 35 feet, a beam of 10 feet 9 inches, and a draft of 39 inches. With an empty weight of 13,470 pounds, half fuel, and three people on board, we estimated our test weight at 14,268 pounds. With a pair of 430 horsepower, 6.2 liter Ilmore engines turning new outdrives, we reached a top speed of 56.9 miles per hour at 5680 RPM. At that speed, the fuel burn was 66.5 gallons per hour, but with the throttles pulled back to best economic cruise, we were at 3500 RPM and 30.8 miles per hour. That reduced setting produced a fuel burn of 24.5 gallons per hour, which translated into a range of 195 miles while still holding back 10% of the most 172 gallon fuel capacity. The engine was quick to respond, bringing us up to plane in 4.7 seconds. Our 0 to 20 time was 8 seconds and 30 came and went in 12.4. But to me, the real test is back at the dock. This setup is supposed to be smooth and quiet and it better be responsive, so let's go see. With the low power setting and a strong crosswind, I was expecting a challenge, but got just the opposite. This was glass smooth and there was absolutely no shifting noise. The only indication I had that things were working was the boat was responding to my hand. It's that smooth. I saw no need to use high power mode, and as for precision, you can see that there was no room between this boat and the one alongside, and I was able to slide the formula in with near surgical precision and stop it in exactly the right spot. From my experienced hand, there's no doubt that this is among the smoothest and quietest systems I've ever maneuvered with. Now, let's look at some other things to consider with this system. Now, there's a couple of interesting safety features that I want to point out about this system. First of all, the joystick is not automatically activated when the sticks are in neutral. You have to manually activate the joystick. That's a good thing. It'll activate in this condition in uh, fast mode if you want to get it into slow mode, you simply push the button and it'll go into slow mode. Now you can change that so that it defaults into slow mode if you like. In this application, it's just defaulted so that it goes into fast mode. A couple other safety features. Say for example, you go into sync mode and you're working on single stick and now you're on joystick with the joystick maneuvering and oops, I hit the throttles accidentally the entire system defaults and goes into um, completely inactive mode. To get it to function again, you bring the stick into neutral and now the throttle binnacle will be working. You want to get back on a joystick, you have to manually activate the joystick one more time. 
When you're maneuvering on the joystick and you're through maneuvering and you want to get back on the sticks, moving the sticks will not do it for you. You have to manually select the control sticks to get out of the joystick mode. Now another interesting feature of the system with the touchscreen control panel, you can customize the system pretty much however you want as far as rotations of the wheel, how many turns from lock to lock, the feedback on the wheel, and here's an interesting feature, when you go into joystick mode, the steering wheel freezes. So Jessica, I think we've validated some of the claims that you're trying to make while we were on our test, but are there any components of the system itself that you want us to be aware of? Well, yeah, actually, there's a couple things that we didn't get to see while we were on the drive today. So one of them is actually the physical appearance of the drive itself. It's a very clean line, it's a very robust system. One of the things that's really unique about the Ilmore program is actually we're able to do full customization of the drive itself. That includes painting the steering uh, rams, the trim rams, painting the, uh, the top cap, and then doing a full custom wrap. Now what's unique about that Formula 350 CBR is that we actually did a drive wrap that matches the new interior vinyl that they're launching here at the boat show as well. So it's a really unique feature. None of the other manufacturers at this point is really allowing that level of customization. Some of the other unique features about the transom itself, the transom has 25% larger um, exhaust output, which allows for more engine performance and throughput. And you saw that today in the performance features of the small block engine, really giving big numbers, great performance, despite the fact that we're working on a smaller platform. Now, on the engine side, the 6.2 liter, 430 horsepower engine, we put a lot of time and thoughtfulness into the design of the engine, and that's really evident when you take a look at it. All of the hoses are clean lines. We have very, very little uh, excess wiring. Everything well tagged, tucked away to keep the engine package looking very clean. You'll see that we've got a couple really great features like this oil boat. It's designed specifically during oil changes to keep uh, oil out of the bilge of your boat and keep your, keep your engine bay clean. Um, you may have noticed we have got a really special appearance on our intake manifold. A lot of that is homage to our performance history. It's got a nice, beefy, supercharged look to it, even though it's actually a naturally aspirated engine, but it's designed to give another wow factor when you open that bilge up and you've got these fantastic set of engines looking at you. So, to sum up, we have a multi-part system that provides what is, in my opinion, the smoothest and quietest drives that I've worked with, with a set of efficient engines, tied to a system that is completely customizable by the end user for a number of parameters. Well, it sounds like the design team at Ilmore has done its homework. And that's my test and review of the OneDrive system from Ilmore. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.